In this tutorial, we'll explore the benefits of using a drawer navigator and provide step-by-step -step instructions on implementation. A drawer navigator is a navigation pattern commonly used in mobile app design. It features a hidden panel of navigation options accessed by swiping in from the side of the app screen. Let's start with why you might choose to use a drawer navigator. A drawer navigator offers additional navigation options in a hidden panel. This declutters the main screen and improves the overall navigation experience by providing quick and convenient access to relevant content. By utilizing a drawer navigator, the main screen of the app remains clean and focused on the primary content. Secondary options are tucked away in the drawer, reducing visual clutter. Now that we understand the benefits, let's discuss how to implement a drawer navigator in your Thunkable app. To add a navigator to your app, click the drop-down arrow at the top of your component tree, hover over Add Navigator, and select Drawer Navigator. You'll notice a drawer navigator is added to your component tree. To add screens to it, within the component tree, drag and drop screens to nest them under the Drawer Navigator component. Let's take a quick look at the default appearance and functionality with the Thunkable Live app. Now let's check out how to customize the Drawer Navigator. Click the Drawer Navigator in the component tree to access the Navigator's Properties panel. Here on the right side, you can customize the properties specific to the Navigator when the drawer is pulled out. You can define the drawer's width in pixels. By default, this is 280 pixels for phones and 320 pixels for tablets, but you can customize it to your design preferences. You can also move the drawer's position to the right of the user's screen if that makes the most sense for your app design. And you can change the color of the navigator's background and text based on whether the user is active or inactive on the screen. Now, let's take a look at how you can change the label of the screen that appears in the drawer navigator. Click on a screen that is nested in your drawer navigator. Under the drawer navigation options in the screen's properties panel, input the desired user-facing screen label in the drawer label field. Let's check out a more robust version of this app in the Thunkable Live app. Our users can swipe in the drawer navigator from the left and select the screen they'd like to navigate to. Nice! You can also trigger the drawer menu by clicking a button or image. Let's check out this popular use case. We'll add an image component to one of the screens and upload a menu icon image. Use copy and paste shortcuts to duplicate it on the other screen. Now navigate to the Blocks tab. Click the image's name in the component tree and drag and drop the When Image Click block into the workspace. Click the screen name in the component tree. Drag the Call Screen's Toggle Drawer menu block and nest it within the When Image Click block. Use keyboard shortcuts to copy the block combination. Move to the other screen, paste it, and update the dropdowns for this screen. Let's test it again. Now, when a user clicks the image we added, it will trigger the drawer menu to open. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and Thunkable Academy courses. And remember, innovation should have no limits.